But here, when I decide not to hurt anyone through my speech, thought, and action, anytime I have negative thought, I speak negative or behave negatively, it will ring a bell inside telling me, this is wrong, you are doing something wrong, and it will force me to correct, because that was my decision not to hurt anyone through my thought, speech, and action. So, living perfectly means outside, outside, I have to be dramatically whatever way I need to live and inside I have to live seriously and sincerely as per these nine diamonds. Outside it is just drama only. So it's like if you are with your children, you have to be and play serious drama. Serious drama in the sense, the way it is needed. Then only you will be identified as a good parent, you will be identified as good children, good mother-in-law, good father-in-law, everything. <coughs> so, true happiness is an inside matter only. With the causal resolutions, decisions inside, what I need, we saw that every individual is different. Every individual thinks differently, wants to live differently, but in a family, in any association, we have to live together. And if we have to live together, we need to have a master key of adjustment. Just imagine, our right leg and our left leg, if there is any loss of coordination, how long can we walk? In split second, we will be grounded. That means any relation, if it has to survive, you have to have a coordination an adjustment, only then only that relation will survive. We have to identify this and adjust. So our inner understanding that I will adjust everywhere, no matter what. Those two girls, they went, they did not just started walking, running around, they went like that, like that. What was that? That was an adjustment. Seeing the situation and adjust because they wanted to go out. And if they would have gone straight, they would have hurt so many people. Same way. And just everywhere is very important in our life not to hurt anyone so that you don't get hurt. Same way, we, wherever we go there are walls. At home there are walls, in work there is walls. Everywhere there is walls. And imagine, we never dash with any of the walls. But with people, every other time we go and dash with them, clash with them. So if you have decided not to hurt anyone, I don't want to hurt anyone. I want to avoid clashes no matter what. Then, when you are not hurting others, you will always be happy. So, it is very important to be and remain united inside, even in this diversity through this inner understanding. You may say that this is very common. That's what I said, that this is the basic understanding common in every religious belief, but we differ in our rituals, our prayers, and that's why we keep fighting. We are different from others. So, although we all look different, it's like all these five fingers are different, but the base is the same. So, we need to have that holistic sign going through in all our hearts, so at heart level, we never differ. And that's how we will be able to survive as individuals, as family, as world citizen. So, one more thing is that nobody is going to shout at me without my mistake. And if I have not committed any mistake, even then someone shout at me, why should I feel bad about it? I will not feel bad about it. Because when the person comes to know that it was not my fault, he will come and say sorry to me. But at that moment also, I won't get upset. And if I have committed a mistake, then someone is bound to scold me, shout at me. So it is that whenever I suffer, it has to be my mistake. And if it is not my mistake, I will never suffer. So in any situation, look around who is suffering. And if it is me who is suffering, it is me who is at fault. So, always remember, the sufferer is at fault. 
whoever is causing suffering, when he will be caught in the nature, he will be punished. But today I am suffering. So this viewpoint is at the mind level and we'll see that. We talked about that no two individual occupy the same space, so we'll always come across people with different viewpoints. We should ensure that we have to live with our viewpoints, but that those viewpoints should not enter our head. In the sense, it should not occupy our mind. We have to ensure that no difference at the mind level. Because the moment we have differences at the mind level, that's why we need to have it just everywhere, so that there is no complaint why the other person think like that or do like that or behave like that. So the moment there is difference at the mind level, it will come at the body level, then you are going to separate. And if that happens at the family level, your family will break. We cannot afford that. So it is said the relations are like glassware made of glass. We need to handle with utmost care because once any glassware breaks, you can never re replenish that. So focus on the family is very important. This is a wonderful revelation. The holistic science has given this solution to the world, about the world. That there are, the world is puzzle itself. And there are two viewpoints to solve this puzzle. One is relative, another is real. It will be wonderful to see. Let's see. By relative viewpoint, God is creator of this world. What does it mean that God explained that? I, when under the influence of ignorance, I falsely believe myself as Deepakana. I will be projecting myself. Who has created? We have seen the conception is at the mind level. I become the creator. Clear? So, when I believe myself, this name is a relative thing, is a temporary thing. But because I believe myself as I am Deepakana, I end up creating my own world. I am the maker of my destiny. I am responsible for myself. Because whatever bad grades I have, I get. I am responsible for that. I cannot blame anyone. Okay. By real viewpoint, God is not creator of this world. The reason, the reason, the moment I get realized, I know my real self, who I am, then I stop blaming myself, I stop blaming others. And when I stop blaming others, whatever that happened to me, is the result of my karma, the other person is just a delivery person. So my inner projection stops. What do I do then with that realization? I perceive myself. Perception that was coming in that, those mantras also. What did he say? Sakshi bhavse dekho. What does that mean? You start witnessing yourself impartially. My name is Deepakanan. I am not Deepakanan. I am that perceiver. I am the knower of this. But that will come only through that self-realization, through the grace of the enlightened person. So God is not creator of this world. Only scientific circumstances and evidences, which is nothing but nature. I came here for the program I somehow dashed with the pillar, I got hurt. So should I say that your temple is like that? No, no, every people, everyone comes over here, nobody dashes with the pillar. How is that you dash with the pillar? You understand? So I blame, but the circumstances I have to understand. So it is, we try to blame things, but just it's a matter of coincidence, things happen and every happening is natural. Whatever happening is just. 
after the milk is yet spilled, if I ask, why did you spill the milk? Is there any answer? No, what remains is now cleaner. So what you can do, mistakes one get committed, you can only feel sorry and decide never to do it again. So with this understanding, you will never claim, you will never argue, whatever is needed, dramatically, you will deal with the situation, but inside, you will keep yourself clear. Adjust everywhere is the master key. If you have known and learned the art of adjustment, you will not have any problem. You will have to really analyze your life situation and understand where all you have failed to adjust and that is where it created a crisis within you, a stress within you, and you cannot digest that crisis, you end up hurting others. And that is where once what you say, if the bow is, the arrow is shot, you become responsible for anything that happens. That's how we become responsible for our own self. And then live with such humility that nobody is hurt through our mind, thought, speech and action. That is done. It's a five-step program given by Holistic Inner Science to solve the puzzle of life. You can think about it. These are the most fundamental understanding given by the Holistic Science. And no religion can challenge this. I'm not doing as a, uh, as a uh, what do you say, as a challenge. No, but we try to understand impartially. Continue to profess your religion, but keep this thing in your mind. And you will see that your religion have given answers to this. Genuinely, impartially. And this is the sure way to attain happiness. Every religion says, God is creator. But who is that God? I, in my ignorance say, I create. When I say, Atma, I am. But who is that Atma? I am Nipagarnan. In my ignorant state, I create destiny for myself. So who is that? God has created me. In the presence of that inner light of knowledge, I have used that power of perception to do. I have created myself and I blame others. That's why I say, world is your reflection. That's what. So you are responsible Today, we see no individual look alike. Like if we go in a garden, all different kind of flowers are there, fruits are there. You know why they are not fighting? Because they have no speech. So, we have to understand that today's family constitution is like a garden, not like a farm. Like if you go in a farm of corn, you see everywhere corn. You see a uh, farm of canola, you see canola everywhere. Soya, everywhere soya. So today's family constitution, so gathering is like a garden. You enjoy. You know, if this flower vase which is there, I think it's not true, but you know, with different flowers, it looks so good. But only one type of flowers are there, you really don't enjoy. So we have to understand and appreciate the differences in the family and make use of their capacity, their quality, whatever is good wherever it is needed. Adjustment is the key. No complaints. So no speech, no fight. Make others happy and see yourself in others. This is what is said. When husband pleases his wife, always keep her happy. Wife would be glad to accept him. Is it not so? So it is like, you know, life is nothing but give and take, rather give and get. So if you are living your life like that, your life will be happy. Avoid clashes. Give happiness, it gets happiness. We always love to deal with ourselves. So let's see yourself in your wife. So wife sees herself in her husband, husband sees himself in his wife, there is no problem. Because we like to deal with ourselves. We never want to hurt ourselves. So when we see, look ourselves in others, we will live with that humility, care that no one is hurt because I don't want to hurt myself by hurting others. So it is said, remaining sincere 
to these principles of life, which is nothing but simple laws of nature only, you will live with that utter morality and that is what is needed for the human society to exist healthy in a way. So, sincerity towards my spouse, my work, my friends leads to the highest level of morality and we can eventually learn to live as per desires of others so that my desires will naturally get fulfilled. You know the best thing, everything that happened in the nature, the nature is bringing it back to normality. Whatever we just dump in the nature like all those styrofoam and plastic and all that and other biodegradable stuff, it is easy for the nature to set it right quickly. But this plastics and styrofoam and other stuff, the nuclear waste, the nature is going to take a long, long time. Who is responsible? Only humans do all these mistakes. So we have to learn to understand nature and live naturally. That's how we will be happy. Live naturally and be happy. So the scientific process of self-correction is confession. Alochana, so what it means, acknowledge your mistakes. We, do we have time? Uh, two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. I hear that. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Fantastic. Second, once I acknowledge my mistake, I correct myself. And then I decide never to commit that mistake again. That's how I correct myself. My mistake is my boss. Directions. So, this side is the body, inside is the soul. I, in my ignorant state, I cause new karma. I, in the realized state, perceives on one side and corrects on the other side. That's how the self-realized person works. He never gets mad because he knows everything that happened outside is a reflection of my own thing. The real understanding of dharma duty is to handle relations amicably. This is my basic and remain sincere to myself. I want wealth. The ultimate wealth is my liberation. So if I live with non-stealing attitude, then I will always have a lot of wealth. And desires, live as for desires of others, your desires will naturally get fulfilled. And if you want more salvation, then follow the enlightened one and you will attain the final state. Free will efforts, so okay. Okay. Sorry. So he said, all these revelations are there in more than 12,000 aphorisms, which is a different concise statement of the scientific principle of life. Sorry, because we have no time much. So for today, the basic HSFUL and avoid class is the master key, secret rule of success. And secondly, if we want to understand this science, then this eye needs to open and with this eye you will see everything. So for that you have to meet a, someone who is realized and then only because without a teacher you cannot learn. So we will just, do we have two minutes more? Just two more minutes. Thank you so much. We will recite it. He Antaryami Parmatma. He Antaryami Parmatma. Aap Hare Jeev Maatro Me Viraj Maan Ho. Aap Hare Jeev Maatro Me Viraj Maan Ho. Vaisse Mujh Me Bhi Viraj Maan Ho. Vaisse Mujh Me Viraj Maan Ho. Aap Ka Swaroop. Aap Ka Swaroop. Wo Hi Mera Swaroop Hai. Wo Hi Mera Swaroop. Mera Swaroop. Mera Swaroop. Shud Atma Hai. He Shud Atma Bhagwan. He Shud Atma Bhagwan. हम आपको अभेद भाव से अत्यंत भक्ति पूर्वक नमस्कार करते हैं अज्ञानता के कारण हमसे जो जो दोष हुए हैं 
उन सभी दोषों को आपके समक्ष जाहिर करते हैं उनके लिए हृदय से पश्चाताप करते हैं और आपके पास क्षमा प्रार्थना करते हैं हे प्रभु हमें क्षमा करे क्षमा करे क्षमा करे और फिर से ऐसे दोष न करे ऐसी परम शक्ति आप हमें दे हे शुद्ध आत्मा भगवान आप ऐसी कृपा करें जिससे हमें भेदभाव मिट जाए और अभेद स्वरूप प्राप्त हो हम आपके अंदर अभेद स्वरूप से तन्मयाकार रहे नमस्कार जय सचिद आनंद थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम